Namaste. I'm Rihanna and today we're going to do a practice about balance. Just a quick one. So we we'll just jump down into child's pose with the back of your mat and I'll talk you through the beginning um, to set us up for our practice. So coming down into child's pose. Rest your bottom down towards your heels. Just extend your arms out in front. Your palms turn to face up for a moment. Relax your head down. And just take a few deep breaths there. Breathing into the back of your rib cage. Letting your forehead rest down towards the mat. Inhaling, exhaling. Just feeling out what's happening in your body. Breathing into the back side of your ribs if you can. Relaxing your neck, your shoulders, your legs. Letting us just enter into this practice with openness. As the fingers and palms face up, we are open and ready to receive. Let this practice be, as always, about balance, about finding the middle line, about taking our loves and our hates from this practice and just getting on with it. Find the discipline just to have a fly and to stay present, but also to have the fire and the discipline to stay within our own practice, the practice of Yaya, this idea of self-study, not expecting someone else to give us the information, just taking the ancient learnings, taking the information from your teacher, from anyone you seem to be practicing with at this moment. But then first and foremost, taking those things inside and making them your own. And as we take hold of that, we start to feel the practice as our own. We find the liberation in that. And we practice the true form of Swagaya. Studying the self in order to understand, in order to connect, in order to then in turn connect with those around us and with the world in which we live. Take three rounds on a tarot from back. So breath retention. Exhale wherever you are. Take a big inhale and hold the breath in. And then exhale, just let it go. And again, inhale. No rush, you just hold the breath in when you get to the top. Feel it pressing into the ribs, out to the sides, the back, pull your bottom towards your heel. Exhale through your mouth whenever you need. Take one more in your own time, inhale. And exhale. In your own time, slowly, slowly make your way up into downward dog. Do it with awareness. So from here on in your, in your practice, you're present. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes. Begin to pipe your tablet up nice and high. Just feel that through your first downward dog. Be in no rush to go into the perfect pose. What is the perfect pose? Forget about the actual position of the limbs. And instead, just to find the ability to focus on the space. So where's the space between your hands and your feet, between your fingers? Relax your neck and your shoulders. Find the space between the breaths. The inhale and a slight pause at the top. And the exhale, slight pause at the bottom. Maybe gently bending from one side to the other. In this very, very beginning part of the practice, we press into our hands and feet and we feel ourselves supported. Supported to stay in that place of self-study. Not to question what I'm asking you to do. Or maybe the person next to you, if there's someone on the mat next to you, what they're doing. Just being okay to be in your own zone. Practicing from a place of awareness is our yoga. Always the most fundamental. Pressing into your hand, maybe slightly drawing the towel underneath to keep your navel in. Really pull your belly button back towards your spine. Pressing into your hands and feet. Take a big inhale through your nose. Lion's breath, mouth open, tongue out as you exhale. And gently take a couple of steps, walking your feet all the way forward to the front of your mat. Feet hip width apart, letting yourself just hang. Just seeing what that feels like, making sure you stay active in your feet. Keep your navel in so you're not going into your lower back here. And just take the hands around behind your back. Take a big inhale, lift your chest up without locking your knees. And as you exhale, just fold yourself all the way down. Forget again how where you are exactly in the pose, just find the sensation. Maybe just turn your head from side to side. Just releasing out through the neck, pressing into the feet firmly, toes are active and heels. Now take the knuckles and lean them towards the right and just spin your chest a little bit towards the left. Breathe. 
and then take yourself the other way. So whether this is a morning practice or an evening practice, just go steady. If it's a morning practice, take your time getting into the practice. Maybe you take a bit of meditation before you start. If it's an evening practice, maybe you take a little bit more time once we finish our session together. Come back to centre and find some more stillness. Relax your neck and your back. Release your hands down to the floor. Good. Take a halfway lift in hand. Bring the hands at the legs for the first one. Push your sternum forward. And then as you exhale, fold yourself. Let's just get into the legs for a moment here. Grab your hands, take your right leg, step your right leg back, put your right knee on the mat. Go just sink into that right hip for a second, just feel into it. Looking for the space in the front of the right hip flexor here. Maybe curl your chest over a little, breathing. And as you exhale, fold back into outer hanuman. So straighten this front leg as much as you can. Maybe the toes stay down, maybe they pull up. Fingertips walk back a bit. If you need a block, put it underneath your hand. So that's perfectly fine. And take an inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, fold yourself down. Just a few breaths there. So you're in Ujjayi breath now. You're inhaling and exhaling nice and smoothly. Mouth stays closed. Breath runs across the back of your throat, creating that nice warmth. Last breath. Gently start to bend your front knee again. Go reach your arms all the way up into your low lunge. Try to avoid sinking into your lower back. If, even if you're super flexy, try and bring your tailbone down a bit. Really lift up through your arms. Put your left foot back and your right knee forward so you're squeezing through Mula Bandha. As you reach up through your hands, breathe. Good. Exhale, take your hands down. Lift the back knee up. And then just gently step all the way back into your downward dog. Feel it out. Notice the difference in the two sides. And straight away, we're going to step the right leg all the way forward. Do the same thing on the second side. Put the back knee all the way down. Stay in the low lunge to start with. On the fingertips, just sinking forward. Curl the chest open. Feel into the pose. Don't worry about trying to be steady. Use the breath to create more space. Inhale and exhale. And moving into Ardha Hanuman, front leg straight. So as I said last time, you can get your foot down or bring the toes back. Bring your hands back. Maybe you need to put your block underneath your hands. Perfectly fine. Try to keep this knee directly underneath the hip. And take an inhale, lift your heart up. And then exhale, fold. Even if when you fold, it doesn't mean you go very far. It's completely irrelevant. Just look for the length of your body. For the crown of your head lengthening down toward your toes. Not tucking in towards your leg, but lengthening out. Keeping the spine nice and long at the back. Navel stays in, breath pressing into the sides of the ribs. Soften. Beginning of the practice is always super important just to use it like a little bridge, walking yourself into the internal. If we don't go, ourselves, go into this place in our practice, we get really caught up just staying in the external. And we move through our practice without any awareness. So just use this time just exploring the body, exploring the breath, and just setting yourself up to move a little bit quicker in the body. Take your last breath in. Then begin to bring your body up. Bend in the front knee again, back into full lunge, nice and your low lunge. Bend in the front knee, knees directly above the ankle, back toes stay tucked to help you stay nice and buoyant. Put the towel going down just slightly and extend the arms up. Palms come together or separate, your choice. Roll the shoulders, start to think about it as a bit of a back bend. But don't sink too much. You want to feel your right foot feel like it's dragging backwards to give you a little bit of this lift up through the pelvic floor. Open through your chest. It pushes the space further up into your heart. If at any point you have soreness underneath your knees, you can always place a blanket or something soft underneath your back knee in any lunge positions. Take your last breath. And then gently bring your hands all the way down to the floor. Lift the back knee up and gently step yourself all the way back into your downward dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Start to wrap the inner edges of the shoulders outwards. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Gently stepping your feet all the way forward to the front of the mat. Uttanasana again, feet hip width apart. Let's take three rounds of Ardha Uttanasana. So halfway inhale. Lift your chest up, don't lock the back of your leg. And then exhale, fold yourself down, draping over your leg. 
Two more, just like that. Inhale, lift your heart up, push your sternum forward, shoulders back. Exhale, fold Last one, inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold yourself down. And press your feet, inhale, stand all the way up. Reach the arms wide into Udvahastasana. Palms touch together, look up towards your hands. And then bring your hands down to your heart. Take a moment to close your eyes. Explore what's already happening in your body. Your presence is still here in this space. Inhale the exhale nice and even, some of Riti. You're finding that middle line always. Find the strength in the pose and the softness. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Grab hold of your right wrist with your left hand and pull yourself across to the side. And then standing all the way up to Grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Pull yourself across to the right hand side. And then stand all the way up. Take an inhale, lean back a little bit. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold all the way down to the floor. Inhale, halfway, lift up through your chest. Put your hands down, step your right leg back. And your left leg back as well, hold your plank. Take an inhale, use your knees if you need to. Chaturanga, exhale, pause. Lower all the way down to the floor. Cobra, inhale, push your chest up. And then exhale, roll yourself all the way back down to the floor. First one, just moving into the back bends onto your fingertips. Roll your shoulders, push your chest forward. Exhale, lower down nice and slow. Take your hands off the edge of the mat, elbow through up like chicken wings. Roll the shoulders, pinch your shoulder blades together. And then pull your chest up, don't use your neck. Head's the last little thing to extend up. And then exhale, use the breath to slow go all the way back. Take your hands back where they were for cobra, tuck your toes. Push back up onto your knees. Put a seat to your heels, stretch out through your lower back. And then gently hover your knees off the floor. And then straighten all the way up into your downward dog. Inhale, press them into your hands. Exhale. Being totally content, that idea of sentosh to be in your downward dog without needing to go anywhere. Finding the extra space. Inhale. Exhale. Gently come high up onto your toes after like giving yourself more space. Then bend your knees like a little spring. And gently step your right leg forward, followed by your left leg gently. Inhale halfway out of Uttanasana. Exhale, hold yourself all the way down. Press your feet, inhale, stand all the way up. Look up towards your hands, palms touch together. Exhale, bring your hands to Hands down the side, one more nice and slowly. Inhale, reach your arms up. Grab hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Pull yourself to the side. That's an exhale. Inhale all the way back to center. Grab hold of the opposite wrist. Exhale over to the side. Inhale, all the way center. Palms touch together, lean back a little. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, out of Uttanasana, lift your chest up. Put your hands down, step your left leg back. Your shoulders are already forward of your wrist. And then gently right leg as well, find your plank. Knees if you need to, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Lower all the way down. Inhale, take your cobra. Press your sternum forward, elbows in. Exhale, nice and smooth, slowly down. Fingertips roll the shoulders. Inhale, press the chest forward. Don't worry about the height. Exhale, slowly down. Just think about pushing your heart space forward. Hands off the edge of the mat and roll the shoulders. Find that balance by finding the space, but also the commitment. Last breath and then exhale, slowly down. Ground your hands, use your knees, press up onto your knees. Pull back towards your child's pose. Then lift your knees, tuck your tail, pull your lower belly in. And then smoothly unfold into your downward dog. Three breaths. Look back at your feet, make sure they're even, feet hip with the plant. No locking of the legs. If you feel a lot of weight in your arms and you're leaning way forward, let your knees bend a bit and push your chest backwards towards your thighs. For those with tight action, that's a super important option. Pushing into your arms, relaxing your neck and face and eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. Raise high up onto the toes. Look forward, bend the knees, 
Gently left leg followed by right, all the way forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, Adho Uttanasana, lift your heart up. Exhale, fold yourself down, pressing down through your feet, pull your navel in. Inhale, standing all the way up, rooting down through your feet to raise all the way up. Palms toss together above your head. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Now take your hands down beside you. We're going to move a little bit quicker now, but just normal Surya Namaskara. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold yourself all the way down. Inhale, Adho Uttanasana, halfway lift your heart. Exhale, jump or step back. Chaturanga on your exhale. Inhale, up dog cobra. Pull the shoulders back. Exhale, navel pulls to spine as you press back into your downward dog. Just two breaths. Inhale. Stay aware. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, raise high onto your toes, look forward. Bend your knees, lightly jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift your heart. Exhale, fold yourself down. Inhale, stand, reach the arms all the way up, look up toward your hand. Exhale, heart center, samasti T. Hands down, so we've got two more. Inhale, moving a bit slower if you need to. Exhale, we're trying to move with the breath. The inhale pulls you up. The exhale takes you right back to Chaturanga, nice and smooth. Inhale, curl the heart up, you're on the toenails. Exhale, drag your feet in, down the dog. Inhale, keep your navel in, breathe through your sides. If you feel some warmth in your center, inhale. Exhale, press into your hands, hard, raise onto your toes. Bend your knees to give yourself a little bit of spring, then jump. Inhale, halfway lift your heart. Exhale, fold yourself down. Press and stand all the way up, arms reaching nice and wide. Exhale, samastiti. Hands down beside to that. Last one, inhale. The exhale, fold down. The breath goes first, the body leads, the body follows the breath. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, curl the heart. Exhale, down the dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Raise up onto your toes in the next. Inhale, press into your hands. Bend your knees, jump yourself lightly forward. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing all the way up. Reach the arms wide, look up towards your hands. Exhale, samastiti. Hands down the side. Just take a moment, close your eyes. Notice your heart beating, notice yourself here. If you have more time, pause the video, continue with more sun salutes, another 10 if it feels okay. Otherwise, just stay with me. Open your feet hip width apart, bring your hands to your hips, take an inhale, lift your chest. As you exhale, begin to fold all the way down. Button will start to grab hold of your big toes. Take an inhale, lift your chest up, and exhale, fold yourself. Now, just a few moments here in an inversion as well as a forward fold. Pull your shoulders up away from your ears. Press your big toes down into your fingers. When you're static in a pose, don't be completely static. Use the breath to lengthen. Just create space. And keep in mind, just keep bringing you back to this present space. When we look for balance in our practice, we have to find the effort and the ease. We have to find ourselves moving quickly and slowly. Always drawing our attention back to the very, very middle of just the calmness, the inhale, the exhale, of the listening, of the awareness. So in our practice today, we're working on balance, we're working on forward folding, backward bending, countering each other, giving us that beautiful length and space in the midline of our body. Release your hand. Good. Bend your knees with Katasana chair pose. So feet together or slightly apart, your choice. Reach your arms up. Instead of being in six tension, your lower back, you want to draw your tailbone down and then reach your arms up. Knees are behind the toes as much as you can. Keep reaching through your hands, keep pulling in through your navel. Breathe. Even try to lift the arches of your feet a little bit so your legs and feet are working. Two. Last breath. And exhale, fold and interlace the hands behind your back. Just to stretch it on out. Good. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway. Lift your heart up. Ground your hands. Step your right leg forward by your left back into your plank. We're going to have a left side plank first. Come over onto your left side. 
and extend your right arm up. Basi Stasana. If you need to put one foot in front of the other for support or bend this front leg, that's perfectly fine. Otherwise, stay. If you're comfortable, keep your hips lined up and just reach your right arm backwards to your opening through your chest. Full breath, last one. Good, and gently put yourself back to center. The movement in the center is nice and smooth. Second side, right side. One foot in front of the other, once again, if you need to, is perfectly fine. Extend the top arm up. Maybe you open your chest. So if you need this extra little kickstand for support, so you can get it, it's just a, no, not a problem at all. Just keep reaching through your left hand. Two. Good, and gently, both hands down, find your plank with this awareness. Take an inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, cobra, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Let's take the right leg up to three-legged dog. Don't just fling it up in the air, do it with awareness. Make sure you keep your tailbone drawing under and pull your lower belly in, pressing into your hands. Let your left knee bend a bit if you need to. Two. Raise high onto your left tippy toes. Come forward, bring your knee to your nose and forward. Take an inhale and stay where you are, knees as high as you can. Exhale, place the foot between the hands. If you can't get it right there, use your right hand to pull it all the way forward. And then come up into a nice high lunge on your knee. Nice and stable. Draw the tailbone down, reach the arms. We're going to use this flow to help us find stability. We're also find some beautiful space in the upper body. So left arm forward, right arm back. Nothing else changes. Reaching through your hands. Now drop the right hand down, flip the left palm, start to lean backwards and draw the hand down the back of the leg just a little bit. Stability is number one, the foundation is important. Stay balanced through your legs first and then move from there. Last breath. Come all the way back upright with your arms. Bend your bottom knee almost to the floor, your left knee. And then step up and find your balance. Grab hold of your left knee with your right hand. And reach your left arm backwards. Find your balance there. Breathe. Good. Moving into dancer's pose. Bend your left heel towards your bottom and grab hold of your foot from the inside. And extend your right arm towards the sky. Now push your foot up to put your hand on your full dancer's pose. Reaching up through your fingers and your toes. Breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Don't lock this standing leg. Full breath. And now start to slowly fold forward. Keep hold of your foot. Your right hand is coming down to the floor. If you can't touch the floor, put a block underneath your hand or a book or something. And just stay. Breathe. Keep pushing your top foot up into the hand. Stay present. And then release the left hand down as well. Standing split with the left leg up as high as you can. Tuck your forehead right in. Maybe you can look up towards your left leg. Straight legs reach through your left leg. Maybe you grab your right hand around the back of your right ankle if you feel stable. Doesn't need to happen. Do the best you can. Full inhale, full exhale. It's your pose. Breathe. Stay present. Stay with me. Keep wrapping from the inside of your left thigh. Good. Last breath. Gently take your hands both down and put the left foot down next to the right. Bend your knees, ground your hands, and jump onto your toenails. So pull your belly in, jump onto your toenails and hold. Two, and gently put your knees all the way down. Bring your body all the way upright. Tuck your toes underneath. Grab hold of your right heel, thumb on the inside. And now push your hips forward and reach your left arm back. Just stretching out to your side body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Breathe. Then gently drop your bottom towards your heels. Sweep your left hand around, grab hold of your left ankle. Hips press forward. Reach back with your right hand. Relax your neck back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push the breath into your chest. That's what makes it the pot. Looking for the liberation out of the struggle. Last breath. And then gently drop your bottom down. Take both your hands to the floor. Lean forward. Untuck your toes. Lift your knees up. 
Jump back into your plank. Chaturanga. Up dog cobra. Exhale. Down dog. Breathe. Low on the second side. Inhale. Left leg. Don't just pick it up crazily. Lift it up nice and smooth. Drop it from the inside of the thigh. Press into both your hands. Tuck your tailbone a little bit. Breathe. Raise high arm to the right to the toes and then come forward, bring your knee to your nose. We're in no rush here. We're going to hold it for the inhale. Exhale, put the foot between the hands. Use the hand to get it there if you need to. Inhale, high lunge. Your feet should be hip width apart as you come up. So your front heel is hip width away from your right toes. Reach your arms up. Get the body nice and straight. Now keep the body nice and straight. Reach the right arm forward and the left arm back. Nothing else changes. Tailbone lengthens down. Left hand down, right palm flips up, start to lean back. Slide the left hand down the leg, but keep really stable in your legs first. Breathe into your heart, two. Good, come all the way up. The stability is always fundamental, lower the back knee down. Step up and find your balance. Liberation only comes when we get through the struggle. Swapping sides, grab hold of the knee with the left hand, right arm reaches back for the twist. When strength and the flexibility join together, we find the asana. Rather than just doing a movement, we find the pose, we breathe into it. You're now going to move to dancer's pose. So your left, your right heel, sorry, comes to the inside of your, sorry, your right heel comes to your bottom, your right arm comes to the inside, your left arm extends up. Hold here for a moment, get long. Then start to push the foot upwards into your hand and reach the elbow. We're not leaning forward, we're reaching straight up to start with. Breathe. Don't lock the standing leg, keep it active. Two. Slowly start to fold. Your left hand is coming towards the floor. If you need a block, put a block underneath your hand. Keep reaching the top leg up as best you can. Chapasana, nice inhale, nice exhale. And then gently take both hands to the floor. You're coming for standing split. Keep the hips square for me. Fold in. Tuck your head in. Look up towards your top leg as best you can. Straight top leg. Energy in your whole body here. Super active pose. Grab hold of the back of your left ankle if you can. With your left hand, keep reaching the right leg up. Relax the neck. Breathe. What does it feel like in the pose? Is there a struggle? If there is, stay with the struggle. Find the sensation in the struggle. That is the practice of yoga to be in that space and transmute it into something else. Last breath. Gently bend the right knee, place it down next to the other foot. Good. Keep your knees bent, ground your hands, lean forward, jump onto your toenails. Hold and then gently put your knees all the way down. Come all the way up. At this time into normal little straps and take your hands onto your lower back. Roll your shoulders, lift your heart up. Really puff up through your chest. Keep your chin stuck in, push up through your stern. And I want you to hug your elbows and see, I'm just trying to not to see your elbows while I'm standing in front of you. And then start to lean back. Breathing into the heart. Nothing in the lower back, all in the heart. Keep your hands in the lower back for this variation in the chin. Last breath. And slowly come up, use your center. Your ribs pull to your hips to bring you up so it takes it out of your lower back. And go again. This time you can tuck your toes if you know you need to. So you can touch your heels or you can keep your feet down, your choice. Feet hip with the part, knees hip with the part. Take an inhale, roll your shoulders, puff your heart. Start to come down. Maybe your hands come down to your heels. Thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside. If your hips are coming behind your knees, just stay up and just keep the hands in the lower back. You want to be here. You don't want to be in this position. You want to roll your shoulders and push your sternum up. Drop your neck back if it feels like and you're opening your chest. Five full breaths wherever you are. Try to relax your glutes so you're not in your bottom. Push the breath right into the heart. Those that are super comfy here, stay with your body as it is and just bring your hands to your heart. Those that need to work on the coming back up, put one hand at a time on your lower back. If you're comfortable, bring your hands to your heart. Go down a little bit further with your head. 
breathe. And then use your core. Everyone engages in Mulavana. to slowly come all the way up. Automatic if you want forward fold, don't. Just take a moment and sit down on your heels. Either sitting on your heels or in Varashana between your feet. Breathe. A beautiful space after a back bend, after we move from the grounding into the openness of our heart, the place where we can share this beautiful connection that we find. We feel balanced, we feel committed, we feel supported. We feel yoga. Gently place your hands down. Just step back into a downward dog. Nice and slow. Think about the awareness as you move into your body. Find your downward dog stretching out through your lower back. Walk your feet a little bit closer to your hands than you normally would have them. Let's take a twist, right hand outside, left leg. Grab hold of wherever you can on your leg is perfectly fine. Right down to the ankle if you can. Press into both your feet and twist yourself around. Press into both your hands. Make sure you don't extend into your lower back, keep your navel in, so you're pushing into your upper back. Look underneath your left arm if it feels okay, grounding down firmly through both your heels. So you're trying to think about lengthening through your sides as well, breathing. So when we get into a pose, we often stop breathing because it feels constricted. The more you press the breath in, the more space you're going to create, the more prime, the more energy that starts to move through. Last breath. And then gently just swapping sides, right hand up, left hand up. Twisting yourself around, pulling your navel in, pressing into your hand. Last breath. Go with hands all the way down. Good. Stepping or jumping yourself all the way forward onto your bottom. And gently lay all the way down. So whilst we're nice and warm in the back, let's take two more rounds of back bend. Ground the feet, feet hip with the thumb. Ground the hands down beside you. You should be able to touch the back of your heels with your fingertips. Roll your bottom up off the floor. Feel the middle back, the upper back. Then walk the shoulder blades in, clasp hold of the hands. Everyone in bridge for the first round. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Push your sternum towards whatever is behind you. Grounding through both your feet. Just make sure your feet stay parallel and they're super active. Feel like you're hugging a block between your knees. If you know your feet turn out, you can put a block between your knees. Breathing into your chest. Thank you. Release the hands. Move the shoulder blades out. Lift onto the toes and slowly roll down. So you want to feel your upper back. Feel like you're holding your tail down off the floor. Your middle back, your lower back, the tail long, and then your heels gently come all the way down. Breathe. If that's enough for you, take exactly the same pose again. If you want to move into your full Udhijanarasana, so hands beside the ears and pushing up, any other variation you want in the background, you should be warm enough for it now, particularly if you did the exercise sorts. So whenever you're ready. If you're coming into your full wheel, press into the crown of your head first just to check your alignment. You hug your elbows in, push your heart towards the wall behind you, ground your feet, and then smoothly press yourself all the way up. Any variation you like, just make sure your feet stay active. And you want to make sure your heels don't start to turn in and toes out. You want to keep your feet nice and parallel. Push your heart towards the wall behind, breathing into your chest. Try to unclench your bottom, whatever pose you're in, so you're not going into your lower back. Full deep breaths, wrapping your shoulder blades towards each other, any pose you're in. Last breath, and then gently lowering yourself all the way back. So once you come down out of your back bend, draw your knees in towards your chest, trying to find that little release. Just letting it gently rock from side to side, making sure there's any pressure in the spine, letting it all go. And bring your legs into happy baby. And hold the soles of the feet, drawing the knees down, lengthening out through your lower back. 
Do a tab and lengthen down. If you can't grab hold of your feet, grab hold of your legs, go down and just pull the knees down into your armpits. Gentle little rock from side to side. Bring the soles of your feet together, press your knees away. Lengthen your tailbone down. Take a few breaths there. Then bring your knees together, take your hands down beside you. Legs straight up, packing over into Halasana. Toes over your head, your hands, your feet, sorry, don't touch the floor. Take your hands up onto your back. If your feet do touch the floor, you can interlace. Keep pushing your heart backwards. Stretching out through the back of your neck. Take a few breaths there and then begin to bend the knees. Maybe you separate the knees and put them around beside your ears if you can't conduct. If you're super comfortable, take your hands over, let them rest on the back of your heel. Breathe. Just full inhale, full exhale in that position as you step. Starting to allow yourself to wind down. Take another couple of breaths and then slowly begin to roll back down onto your back. Once you come to your back, just let yourself feel what's happening. If you need a spinal twist, drop your knees to the side and twist the other way. Breathing both directions. Just making your way now into a place to finish the practice. So you take your twist both sides if that feels right. Then laying yourself into Shavasana. Bring yourself to a seat, whatever you feel like is best for you to finish the practice off. Moving mindfully. What does that mean? That means you are conscious of those movements of your body, of your mind, where you are in the space. Once you come to the place to settle, focus your attention on your center. The fire. The discipline to stay present. And move your attention to your heart. And the heart of the openness, the love, the space. The connection. Find the balance between the two. Nothing else to be done. Stay for a bit longer with your breath if you have the time. Relaxing your practice, follow you throughout your journey. 